So the first question regarding the world's largest warp string asks what the velocity of the person is at the very bottom. So we can solve this using the energy principle. So we know that the initial energy equals the final energy. And we know that there is no kinetic energy at the very top. And we also know that at the very top it's about 30.48 meters. So the initial potential energy equals the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy. So plugging in the numbers we can solve for velocity equals the square root of two times the distance, the change in the potential energies divided by the mass. And when you solve that, you get the velocity equals about 23.2 meters per second. So the second question asks what the tension of the rope is at the very bottom of the swing. So we know that the perpendicular force equals mv squared over L. And since we already solved for V, which is about 23.2 meters per second, we can plug it in and solve. The perpendicular force is the force of the tension minus the force of gravity. So the force of the tension is mv squared over L plus mass times gravity, gravitational force. And when we solve for this, we get that the force of the tension is about 1510.78 newtons. So the next question asks what the speed of the rider is at 30 degrees from the very bottom. Well, we know that mv squared over L equals force of the tension plus the force of the gravity. And we also know that the force of the tension at the very bottom is 1510.78. So we can use trigonometry in order to solve for the force of the tension at 30 degrees. In doing so, we get 1744.5 newtons. And also, we need to find the force of the gravity. And we can do this by doing mg times cosine of 30 degrees. When we do that, we get 594.7 newtons. So when we solve for the velocity, you do velocity equals the square root of the force of tension plus the force of gravity times the length of the rope divided by the mass of the rider. And when you do that, you get about 22.4 meters per second. The fourth question asks, what is the stretch of the rope at the bottom of the trajectory? So we know that the force equals spring constant times the stretch in the spring. And we also have solved earlier that the, the tension of force at the bottom is 1510.78 newtons. So to solve for the stretch, you just do 1510.78 newtons divided by the spring constant. So the final question asks what the stretch of the rope is at 30 degrees from the bottom. And earlier we saw that the force of the tension at the bottom is 1,744.49 newtons. So using the formula that the force of the tension equals spring constant times the stretch, we can solve for the stretch by dividing the force of the tension by the spring constant. So this is a simulation of the ropes, world's largest rope swing you made using vPython. I apologize, you can't see the entire thing. It's just you can't really zoom out on the Mac. So from the simulation, the tension at the bottom of the rope swing was found to be about 1,136.39 newtons and the velocity was found to be about 29.97 in the x-direction and about negative 6.84 in the y-direction. 